your body is constantly optimizing all kinds of different things uh, about you. So your temperature, your blood pH level, your hydration level, um, you know, what concentration of, of sodium is in your blood, although that one is also linked to your hydration level. Again, lots of multivariable things going on in your body at any given time. Um, your glucose level, that was you know, something I was trying recently, it was a product where you could measure your glucose level. And it is just amazing to see how your body, without you ever thinking about it, is constantly correcting these levels of, of whatever it may be in your body. Mm. Um, and so with hydration, hydration is one that the body doesn't have the ability to just like magically like, okay, let's turn up the hydration using all these systems. Ultimately, you have to drink water in order to get the water into your body. Mm -hmm. And um, when you are super dehydrated, there are issues, you know, you probably need to go and see a doctor. When you're, what, what we talk about at our company in terms of this idea of being properly hydrated is, is really about helping your body stay inside of the, the sort of optimal area so that it's having to do less work of optimizing constantly, you know, how much mm. water and electrolyte content um, is present in your blood and in your cells so that you feel good. And feeling good is, you know, fairly nebulous. And I think uh, everyone else in the hydration space, I'm sure would agree with me that communicating what does being properly hydrated feel like yeah. is really difficult. It's, it's super challenging. And, and our product is a food, not a supplement. So we're not able to sort of make large claims about the effects. But I mean, largely, and again, I, I will lean on the uh, good old national health system or national health service in the UK's uh, website, the symptoms of dehydration are fatigue, headaches, um, you know, tiredness, dry skin. Uh, mm. it, it's, it's a long list and dizziness, fainting, you know, it really is a spectrum though, in terms of like how dehydrated you are. Mm -hmm. So what we as a kind of team at Hydrant have felt and what, what I have felt, I guess, easiest way of doing it is just speaking through my own lens here, because I was the one who decided this was something I wanted to pursue is hydration is something that feel when you're like slightly dehydrated and you hydrate properly, you feel an energy and it's not like a caffeinated energy where you're yeah. buzzing. It's like an internal energy. It, it sort of comes from within. I know again, like sounds kind of nebulous and weird, right, but right. that's, that's really, let me, let me use one analogy. This is one that I like to use cause I, I'm like a something of a car guy, but it won't land for everyone. But in a way, hydration is like traction control. It just like, it's the thing that keeps you on the road without it. If you're like, let's say you're driving in the snow without it, you're all over the place. But if you have mm. it, you are super grateful to have it. And you laugh at like everyone else who hasn't discovered this secret of, you know, quattro or whatever it may be. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 